So hello and a warm welcome to all of you worldwide. We're just waiting for the central characters to make their appearance and then we will be underway. The teams then, Paris Saint-Germain against Caen. I'm Peter Drury and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Begley. Thanks Peter, hello everybody. I'm ready to see what unfolds in this one now. Saint-Germain line up in a 4-3-3. Yeah, it's quite simple, Peter, really, with the ball, it's 4-3-3, and without the ball, it becomes through here. Play it out to the wing. Gets up to head it! Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Cavani. Cavani spreads it towards the left. He's had a go! Goal! Terry Saint-Germain! Saint-Germain take the lead! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. But that's one of the first things you learn, whether you're a striker or not. Just anticipate a goalkeeping parry or spillage, and sometimes you'll get lucky and come your way. It's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Out wide to the right. Looks to slip it through. And the finish! It is a corner. Safety. Paris Saint Germain have a free kick. Well, if he's serious about trying from this range, I think he, he must feel he can generate the power. Big ask. Decent enough try. A more than decent attempt, Peter. out 
to the wing. Takes it into the channel. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Aimed long and direct. He's left his man. Neymar. Full tilt down the left. Coming up to half time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. So they got the only goal to give them a 1 0 lead. Looks to thread it through. Tries a through ball. Beautifully done. Kozawa demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. Neymar! And he's there to make a great save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Set the matter of room for debate here, but a goal kick's been given. Whistle goes. So there you have it. A close sport half of football. But still had its moments. But ultimately produced just one goal. A decent game up to now. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? I think the scoreline offers a fair reflection of the level of endeavour from both teams. I think they lead because they did most of the probing. A little more penetration, I think, should help them get the job done. Paris Saint-Germain come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least it's... It's one! Danger averted for now. Oh, no shortage of confidence there. Neymar just backs himself. Neymar with a shot! Forward it goes. Kozawa positions himself well and cuts it out. A weighted pass. It's Cavani! Same again, same outcome. Paris Saint-Germain really putting a few chances together here. Taking one can only add to such good momentum now. It's Cavani. It's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to? Shoots! He's got away with one there. Great leap! And oh, he's got that completely wrong. Challenge. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Cavani. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. Forward it goes. they're sending out now is pretty loud. Goes for goal! It's in! They are right back in business! Produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific brand of football to watch, and importantly, it is a strong end product. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think 
he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Oh, at the equaliser, and we're all square. Well, if anyone in this stadium thinks they haven't got value for money, I give up. Marco Verratti. Going through. Neymar. Is it in? Goal! Paris Saint-Germain! And again they hit the front. None of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Saint-Germain get themselves into the lead. Look, I just think they've kept at it, got their reward. Now they need to hang on to it. Tries to dink it in. And he's straight offside. Oh, it would have been fabulous had the timing matched the pass. Pity. So, the manager making the last of his changes. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and... As a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it. And I think that's happened in this case. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Neymar. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Patrick's to win it back. Paris Saint-Germain can afford to... That's it! Neymar, Neymar! One of a type! He's brilliant! And this is getting better and better. Great header, made it look easy. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Paris Saint-Germain could not have picked... And that's that. Manager heads down the tunnel, swathed in satisfaction. His team have carried out his instructions to the word, and they have got their win. How do you look back on the game then,